Hi friends! Today for a read aloud story, we're going to be reading the traditional version of the story, The Three Little Pigs. Since it is our first day reading this story, we're going to be making a story map. You are probably an expert at making a story map already. But in case you forgot, the four things that we want to include on our map are our characters, setting, problem, and solution. So as you listen to the traditional version of The Three Little Pigs, pay attention to those four things. This book is called The Three Little Pigs by Mara Elprin. The Three Little Pigs. There were once three little pigs named Horace, Boris, and Percy, who lived together in a teeny tiny cottage in the forest. One day, Mommy Pig said, you're all too big to live here, so you must go and build houses of your own. But beware of the big bad wolf. Take care, your houses are safe and strong. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf, chuckled Horace. Not me, giggled Boris. And so the three little pigs set off. Before long, they reached a large field. I'll build my house right here out of straw, Horace cheered. Straw, are you sure, asked Percy. Oh yes, said Horace. Then it's play time for me. And with a pat, 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 and a hip, hip, hey, Horace built a house of straw. Soon after, Boris and Percy reached the edge of the woods. I'll build my house right here out of sticks, Boris squealed excitedly. Then I can go and play with Horace. Sticks? Is that wise? asked Percy. It's perfect, Boris said. And with a stack, 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 and a tra-la-la, Boris built a house of sticks. All afternoon, Horace and Boris laughed and danced. They had quite forgotten their mother's warning. But Percy plodded on. I want my house to be safe and strong, he thought. Then he came to a brickyard. This is just what I need, he said. So day after day, Percy worked with a rumbly bump and a tip, tip, tap and a heave, heave, ho. Until at last, his brick house stood tall and proud. The summer passed. Then one day, Horace was taking a lovely bubbly bath in his little straw house when he heard something growling. He peeped out of the window and saw two big beady eyes. By my snout, cried Horace. It's the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me in, bellowed the wolf. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, yelled Horace. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And he huffed, and he puffed, and whoosh! Horace's house blew down, down, down. Horace yelped and scurried all the way to Boris's house of sticks. Look out, he cried, diving behind the sofa. There in the window were big beady eyes and sharp pointy claws. It's the b -b -b big bad b bad wolf, Boris chattered. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, roared the wolf. N -n -n Not by the h -h hairs on our chinny chin chins, trembled Boris. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed, and he puffed, 
and crash. Boris's house clattered down, down, down. Horace and Boris squealed and galloped all the way to Percy's house of bricks. Look out, they shouted. And Percy saw big beady eyes, sharp pointy claws, and truly terrible teeth. It's the big bad wolf, he cried. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, howled the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin, shouted Percy. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But Percy's brick house stayed up, up. The big bad wolf couldn't believe his whiskers. I'm the big bad wolf, he hollered. No tasty little pigs ever get away from me. Oh, help, shivered Horace. He's on the roof. What should we do? asked Boris. Quick, I have an idea, whispered Percy. Yum, 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 here I come laughed the wolf and he slid down the chimney right into a giant pot of boiling water. Ow, 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 screamed the wolf, burning his bottom. Then he leapt up from the pot and ran away as fast as he could. After that, the three little pigs never saw the wolf again. And with the help from Percy, they built one big, strong house where they could all live together. The end. I hope you enjoyed that traditional version of the Three Little Pigs. For today's activity, we will be making a story map for this book.